How to Change the World is a two-week intensive design studio course that all second-year engineering students at UCL do. Good morning, everyone. When we were designing the integrated engineering program, we realized that we had all of the technical components, but industry and government employers, they wanted engineers who could position their technical skills in the broader context of society. And we realized that you can't change the world effectively if you don't understand it. Um, I think our challenge in particular was very relevant because, I mean, we all know about the Syrian refugee crisis at the moment. I really like the fact that our challenge is a practical one, it's instead of a theoretical one. Working with a problem that has such a big scope is something that I haven't done before. The program requires a bit of a changed mindset from the students because a lot of the problems they will have faced, they've been given quite a, a tightly defined brief. How to Change the World takes a bit of a step back from that, where actually the problem is very broad and open-ended, and it's up to the students to define a brief where they can see they can make a contribution to this problem. We have this problem, or we have this, um, what we want to solve is that the um, transport system in London isn't really efficient. We want to make it more, more efficient and more eco-friendly. The challenges that we present to the students are ones that we devise in partnership with entities that have a broad sense of the grand challenges society is facing. We then bring in industry partners not to set the problems but to give the students expert guidance and advice on how to respond to such open-ended problems. Okay so um, if we slightly change it and say what is the problem at the moment? I'm being brutal because if I'm really brutal then on Friday it'll be a cinch. <laughs> Each challenge has 80 to 100 students working on it. That's the equivalent over two weeks of two years worth of person power invested. So what a challenge partner gets from participating in this is 10 to 20 different unique ideas generated by really creative, really talented early career engineers. Average quality, well above what I would expect and well above what I get from industry. These basic skills of multidisciplinary projects and helping to find the question is where engineering needs to go. The program is designed specifically to give students skills that make employers want to snatch them up right off the back end of their undergraduate degree. And it also gives them an experience that other students at other programs just don't have an opportunity to talk about. I have worked with the World Bank. I have worked with the Department of Energy and Climate Change. That's a very unique answer to give in an interview with an employer. I think for both us and for the students, it's amazing what they can do within the two weeks. We're always surprised by the real creativity that they're able to display. Um, they say it's a lighting system for the tube trains to increase the capacity. So overall we want to improve air quality in London and for that we want to encourage more people to use the bike. One of the things I say right at the beginning of the course uh, is that you will change somebody's world in the job that you do as an engineer. Now it might be a small number of people, it might be you invent a new Google. But we want all of our engineers going out to understand the impact they, they can have to make the world a better place.